Welcome back to another week's video. Today I'm inside my four season enclosed patio porch area. I'm giving you an overview. A couple weeks ago, Mark and I were on vacation and prior to leaving, we brought everything from our deck inside to the patio to um, secure it. Also, you know I do a lot of DIY projects and I have been using this space as a catch all. Um, earlier this spring, I had champion windows to come out and rearrange the windows so I can get a much better airflow in this space. And I have not been able to enjoy the patio this year due to the hot summer months we had. Now that the weather has changed, it's feeling a lot better and we're in fall. I want to give this patio uh, a refresh. It needs to be cleaned up and then I'm going to set it all up for fall. You already know I can't decorate on dirt. So on my channel, you will see satisfying cleaning home decor, home decorating, DIYs, yard work, and whatever else it takes to keep my home functioning and in order. If you are stopping by for the first time, I want to extend a welcome to you and thank you for clicking on today's video. I hope you like my vibe enough to go ahead and click that subscribe button and become a part of the SL family members. And to all our new family members, thank you so much. We are growing family. We are growing and I thank all of our new family members for clicking on that subscribe button. And if you are a returning SL family member, welcome back to another week's video and thank you for being here. I know you're like saying, hey, I thought her furniture was black. Well, it is when I use these slip covers, but my furniture is originally beige and I gave it a complete makeover last year in the fall. I wanted um, black and white in here and the best way that I knew how to was to use some slip covers and they work perfect. Instantly, it changes your space. So I found these on Amazon and they are made of spandex and elastic and they work perfect for uh, sofas as well as love seats and any cushion, individual cushions. So what I'm going to do is continue to take them off and I am going to give them a bath. I have not washed these since I put them on. They are very sturdy and they last a long time, hold up very well. So let's go ahead and take this to the washroom, my laundry room, should I say. And I'm going to go ahead and wash them in cold water. I'm going to use wool light. It's for all dark. I want to keep it looking like new. Now that I have the sip covers in the washing machine, making my way back on into the patio porch area, I'm going to declutter and get this space all cleaned up. I feel this is a great time for me to introduce myself. I'm Shauna LaKell. I have been married to my husband, Mark, for 27 years. We have two young adults. We live in Georgia. I work full time. I post once a week on Sundays, 4 p.m., Eastern Standard Time and I want to thank you for being here and if you are enjoying my video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and I would like for you to introduce yourself to me um, let me know what state you're watching me from uh, your age yes I said your age I'm 57 and I'm proud to tell you that I'm 57 do you know how many people have not made it to this age Oh, 
I'm grateful. I'm, I'm going to shout my age out. I'm so grateful to be here and alive and just in my being. You know, I have my mind right. I can walk. I can talk. I can do for myself. Thank you, Lord. So, ladies, my channel cater from the 40s all the way up to the 70s. And I am so grateful to have this platform where I can be able to reach out to you through YouTube and just inspire you, motivate you, encourage you to get up and clean your home and do some things around your house that you know you need to do. I am so grateful that you allow me to come into your home. It means so much to me. So I'm looking forward to reading those comments in this video. I finally found me a deck box. I have been on the hunt for over a year. Couldn't find it in black, the uh, one that I would like. So I ran across this at Aldi's. They had it clearance down to $40. You already know. You know what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to spray paint it to match my decor. I purchased a black fan to replace this brown fan. That way it will be ecstatically eye-pleasing in this space. I can't wait for Mark to put it up, but it won't be in this video. But I definitely will give you an update. I'm going to move over to my mini split. It is a cool as well as heat air conditioning mini split unit. I didn't use it this summer because it was so scorching hot. I didn't want to waste my money on trying to, you know, cool this area off. We had some wicked weather this summer. As you can see, the night is starting to catch up with me. I apologize for the poor lighting, but I am determined to keep pushing. I want to get this space done tonight. I kept telling myself, oh, we not stopping. We not going to stop until it's done. I'm not going to bed until I know this space is clean. And I just kept on pushing. Have any of you ever been in that situation that you just like, I'm not going uh -uh. I'm not going to stop. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I want this space done. I don't want to have to deal with this the next day.
Are you following me on Instagram? Well, you should. On that platform, I do stories and reels as well as behind the scene footage. If you have a Instagram account, would you please um, follow me over there and support me? I really am trying to build that platform up. Follow me at Florida Girl Living in a Georgia World. It was really getting dark out here and I was getting a little tired of moving that camera around. So what I decided after I had finished vacuuming I, that I was going to go ahead and just finish the last few little things I need to do off the camera. That way I can come back the next day and just go ahead and start decorating. The silk covers are all clean and dry. I'm going to go ahead and place them back on the cushions and then I will add some fall touches to my space.
And just like that, I have black furniture. I'm adding my pumpkin pillows. I purchased the pillowcases from Amazon last year. I used them on my deck and I thought I would switch things up and bring that in to the patio. And I think it looks really nice. Just those pops of that burnt orange. It gives that warm, inviting, as well as that fall vibe that I was looking for. And I think I have achieved it. I decided to switch things up just a little bit on my coffee table. I wanted to do some DIY things from the Dollar Tree. So I'm using this glass tray that I purchased at Burlington. I'm using the same black vase that I purchased from Home Goods. But I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased a total of six of their little small candles and I glued them together and then I spray painted them to create some tall um candlesticks and I went and purchased some more of those decorative balls from the Dollar Tree and spray painted them and I'm also sharing this scarecrow planter I created this last year using a scarecrow and I um, just took it down and I glued it all around you will find the um, DIY at the end of this video and hopefully you can use these budget-friendly um, DIYs in your home I want to share a DIY with you. I did it last year and it is called my planter scarecrow. And what I did was I took down a scarecrow that, you know, you purchase in the store. You can purchase at Walmart. And these are the legs. I just took it apart. And this is the apron. And this is my planter that I'm going to use. And I have some floral arrangements that I'm going to um, create a beautiful um, arrangement for you. And I'm going to first um, apply the legs to the planter. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So let me bring the camera down, move it around, get it in order. There we go, right there. So this is my planter. And I'm going to go ahead and place the planter inside. And just do it nice and easy. Don't be rough with it. Take your time because these this is cheap stuff that they use and you don't want to tear it. So I'm just taking my time and just moving it up. Just like that. So that you can see, see the legs? Isn't that cute? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my hot glue just so it can stay in place. And I'm gonna add some hot glue on it just to keep it in place.
just dab a little. This fits pretty good. You need to make sure, don't use no huge one because they, they don't make these things pretty big anyway. So just use a little bit. I think that's it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. Let me turn it around to you. You're gonna take this apron and just kind of fold it in here. And I'm gonna take a little hot glue just to get the sides here. That's it. Now, let's go ahead. I already had these arrangements in here, so um, I'm not gonna remove them. I think the green moss and these little greenery is perfect. So let's go ahead and add a couple of fall picks and make it look nice. Let's bring it up just a little so you can see. There we go. Sorry about that. And that is all I'm gonna do. Isn't that cute? You can do it as well. It's a very simple, easy project to do. And if you do create it, follow me on IG and share your creation with me. Let's share and create with each other. Now, I love this here, um, simple DIY, budget-friendly candlestick holder. I'm using some hot glue, E6000, and the candlesticks from the Dollar Tree. And what I will be doing is I will be gluing three of them together. I bought a total of six. And it's real simple and easy to do.
Oh, my God. 